Victoria, now a breeding ground for some of the biggest names in world racing, and international and Australian breeding businesses are looking at Victoria favourably to breed quality racehorses. The USA's Spendthrift Farm has just established a major operation in the state. Sun International has purchased the renowned Eliza Park and making significant enhancements to both infrastructure and upgrading stock. While Qatar's Al Shakab Racing is investing in the state by sending two of its most prized stallions, Wow Signal and Toronado, to Swetnam Stud. The Victorian breeding industry has been thrust into the global spotlight like never before. It's a massive coup for Victoria. Al Shakab, arguably the most prolific powerhouse in the bloodstock industry globally at the moment. And uh, yes, they, they saw Victoria, they've been looking at it at uh, this, this region for a while. And really, with our racing and certainly our breeding, this was a place which they wanted to, uh, to send these two quality stallions to. Since arriving in Victoria, Toronado has been a talking point. And it's any wonder his rock star looks and pedigree matched by outstanding racetrack performances. Torinon, I mean, he's just, he's, he's magnificent. I mean, he's got the muscle definition. He's the right horse to bring out here to, to Australia, the son of High Chaparral. I mean, he's got, he's, as I say, he's, he's physically, he moves beautifully. He's got that uh, speed on as a, and early precociousness as a, as a two-year-old, because for a high chaparral to win three races as a two-year-old is, uh, is pretty significant. Horses that have starred on the local stage in recent seasons also add significant depth to the Victorian ranks. Woodside Park and Victoria's Macedon Rangers are not going to die wondering as they invest strongly in quality broodmares and stallions. Zoostar, the first horse ever to win the stallion-making Group 1 double of the Golden Rose and the Coolmore Stud Stakes, joins the Woodside Park Stud roster. Described as an equine machine by his trainer Chris Waller, Zoostar is the best son of Northern Meteor at Stud and not surprisingly is attracting huge support from all over Australia. He's got one of the best heads uh, you'll ever see on a, on a stallion. He's, he's correct, he's big, he's strong, he's powerful, you can see why he's fast. We're going to have clientele uh, supporting us here at the farm that you know wouldn't have heard of who Woodside were a few years ago. We're going to have you know the biggest, most commercial breeders as well as the best breed to race people uh, you know supporting Zoo Star and, and our other stallions here, which is great. Zoo Star stands alongside Ritten Tycoon, a champion first season sire of Australia. He's still got his best years ahead of him. Um, he's done extraordinary things from we'd say lower quality mares, but he always had uh, good size books. So, um, you know, it'll always ensure that he'll always have lots of runners out there and the best thing is he gets lots of winners and lots of stakes winners. Another exciting fresh addition to the Victorian stallion ranks is sprint sensation Brazen Bow. He joins the Darley roster after a brilliant career that saw him win the state's premier sprint contests, the Group 1 Newmarket Handicap and the stallion making Coolmore Stud Stakes. Those outstanding performances led to him flying the flag for Australia on the international stage in the UK with an outstanding effort at Royal Ascot in the Diamond Jubilee Stakes. He's just a fantastic endorsement for Victoria. It shows that Jake Muhammad's very serious about Victoria, John Ferguson and Henry Plumtree are serious about Victoria. Um, so he's a horse that's a dual group one winner. Incentives are now even stronger for breeding horses in Victoria. There's now more than $20 million on offer to Victorian bred horses every year through Super Vobus, Vobus Gold and the recently launched Vobus Sires scheme that will provide even more reason to breed, buy and race a Victorian sired thoroughbred. Vobus will see a $1 million annual race for Victorian sired two-year-olds and a half million dollar race for three-year-olds. I always believe there's a great link between breeding and racing. We are the one racing industry. We play an important role and, uh, and we want to continue to grow. These are exciting times of development for the Victorian breeding industry. Never has it been in a more commanding position than right now. It's all in the breeding.